Alright y'all, so we are back at the That Ain't It Comedy Competition episode 4 and we are joined by Spend It Comedian Spend It Hell yeah Spend It, check it out right If you could pick 5 comedians to roast you, who would it be? Jamie Foxx For sure uh, man, he slick. He don't know what to say out of his mouth. I seen him on a roast before. Uh, sad to say, a local big homie, L.O., he disrespectful. Florence Owens. Um, yeah, he don't know what to say. He don't know. He don't have no filter. He don't. I'm telling, I'm telling you. Um, let me see. I'm definitely going to have to go with my, 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 my big homie, Dion Cole. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm going to have to go with DC Young Fly. I'm gonna have to do that because you know he gonna have something slick to say, and and I got to go with one more homie, and I'm gonna have to go with Chico B because because I know he gonna he gonna be coming from the angle that I that I can that I can, you know. How long have you been doing your comedian thing, brother? Uh, including the pandemic. Yes. Uh, two years. That's including the pandemic. And what made you want to get into comedy? Uh, two things. Um, shout out to my my dog G. Dot the Great. He uh he he uh he performed last on the last competition. Shout out to my big homie GI the Great. Uh, he was the first person to put me on the stage in the, in in, in, um, in DC. Shout out to a, a dude I was locked up with, Jesse Doors, wasted talent on Instagram. He was the first person to put me on the stage. Period. He seen something in me while I was locked up. He was like, man, you got talent. When you go home, pursue it. That's, That's all right, man. That's dope That's as shit. Right That's there. dope as fuck, bro. That's dope as fuck. Y'all niggas need to listen to stories like that because when you uh, and I ain't gonna go too far off the deep end, but you can be locked up and come home and do something with your life. You know what I mean? This is living proof right here. This brother just got off stage being played in front of national television. When I say all over the world, this nigga's getting plays all over the world for a set that he took time to work on. You see what I mean? So don't use prison as an excuse. Don't use that as an escape goat. This is actual living physical proof right here that you can take it from the cell to television. It's real. Simple as that. You have a gun in your head, right? <laughs> you have to keep one or the other. The person only wants you to have one. Which one are you keeping? Your eyebrows or your eyelashes? That's not no bullshit question. That's a serious question. Mm -hmm. It is. Mm, it is. At the end but of it's day, some serious it bullshit. Uh, uh, no, no, no. It's not. It's actually not. <laughs> I'm definitely keeping my eyebrows, and I'm gonna tell you why. Boom! Uh, another one. Yeah, because Damn. you can put on dark shades and they never see your eyelashes, but they're oh. gonna see your eyebrows. And I didn't even think of that one. You can't see my eyelashes see no. right now. Can you see my eyelashes? No. You would not be paying attention, but you do see what. Yeah, bro. Exactly. Oh, yeah, guys. He, so he made you funny. No, I tell, no, I tell that back. My woman never have her eyelashes. Oh shit. <laughs> what is the number one off limit subject to talk about while on stage? For me, no. For me, I never uh, talk about the, the, the alphabets. I never. Oh. I never. Yeah, yeah. I never. Because for one, I don't. Me personally on stage, I don't want to make any enemies. And you never know who's who or what's what, and people are in higher places now. You know what I'm saying? They are. That's smart. Equal. At this point, everybody equal. You know nah, that's smart. I can agree. You know it. The people of the alphabet gonna be, uh, you know, wrong. I don't. I don't mind working with people like that. I'm not about, about that opportunity. I don't want to mess up an opportunity for myself because they think that I'm prejudiced to... Right. But speaking and joking about that, that is something that you can consider off limits for you. Not the world, but just you. Not for the world, but for me personally. I, don't I can I'm, agree. I, can I don't feel comfortable I don't feel comfortable talking crazy about them and I don't have no problem with them. I like that. I like that. I can agree with that. that is. Be, like I said, they create opportunities. I'm, I, I, like, I don't mind working with... I, I know, man, I, I'm comfortable with me. You comfortable with you, you comfortable with you. As long as you know that we working, and, you know, that's cool. I don't mind. Yeah. Of course, we understand that, but, yeah, yeah, I get it. Because Won't be nothing. Hip-hop DMV. I'm there. It's good. What the fuck you talking about? Alphabet on there. Right. A couple. And if I'm on set, guess what? I'm going I'm going to act like we knew each other since elementary. Simple as that, nigga. Do you want some donuts? Nigga, you can have a bite of man. Simple as that. This is close you ever get to my lips. Simple as that. Bam. Enjoy. Enjoy, motherfucker. Enjoy. Uh but look, on that note, I go by the name of Two Tell Young Skills. I'm joined by Chupa. The one holding us down on camera is Big Deuce. And we are joined by the one only Spendy.